am I? Who is I? I is who? Who am I to come here after a while and come and form a sieve? I did not do y'all wrong. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And on that note, yo, 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 what it is, what's up? It's your girl, Nikki Nix, coming to serve you. Look Hi, guys, welcome back to another episode of, oh my gosh, Nikki, where have you been? It's your girl, Adi Nix Nix on the beat. Today, I am here to bless y'all with my presence. I am so happy to be back. Quick explanation, I know y'all don't ra like this ramblation, but I'm just gonna get through it real fast because I owe you this respect. I took a break from YouTube because I was trying to get a hang of the Instagram bombation I've been dropping over there. Y'all should check me out on Instagram, Nikes Canvas, don't carry last is heavy. Oh, most of my friends right now are getting married. Like people that I know, my age mates, 25 years old girl. One thing that I know I'm gonna be is a bridesmaid. Maybe not really, because I don't really have that much friends that really care for me like that. But let's see how it goes. At least I'm saving money on Ashway. Uh, I decided to do a bridesmaid video because I kind of relate with them. They have to pay for Ashway. They also have to give the bride some money to invest in our wedding. They will still have to pay for their makeup on the wedding day. Uh uh, a day big gay child. I'm sure they're not. So I decided that why don't I help? Our fellow bridesmaids all day. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so this is the eye look that we are gonna wear to all of their weddings. This color scheme that I use will look good with any outfit. If they try to wear rainbow color, this will look good. If they try to wear red, this will look good. The Inglot 76 gel liner. I'm using an eyeshadow base that I know wouldn't move or crack during the day it's just a little goes a long way i learned that the hard way and i'm using a nice fluffy brush to blend it out it's better for you to start with a fluffy brush not a flat brush because then it will be way easier for you to blend blending fast also really helps i'm using a nice fluffy brush to blend my whole eye area just to make it look a little bit more blended morphe 350 palette the first color that i went in with was this light brown going in with a nice fluffy brush i'm gonna focus that directly at this under bone area of my eye just right here next on the eyeshadow list we have this eyeshadow it's like a deeper brown compared to this because this one kind of has a neutral tone to it but this one has a little bit more warmth in the brownation i'm using a precise it's the luxie mini round brush in the number 141 this luxie brushes you guys they are lit it's time for us to cut the crease for my cut crease i like to go a lot higher in the front as you can see my crease is down there but the thing is really higher i like to do that because when i take pictures you can see the lead glimation very very well so you guys someone asked me on my instagram page that I oh my gosh i've not subscribed you have not subscribed to my channel wow I just want to ask you something like what the hell are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel it really helps youtube will be like wow this girl really has subscribers let's apart and if you like this video please click the like button it also really helps out and if you just like me i just like to laugh at me click the notification button so there's always join your life please, someone in my instagram page asked me next how do you cut your crease so i said you know what I'm gonna do in the video today. So I take a flat brush. What I do is I look at my crease. You can see where my eye falls, and I'm like, no. So I go a little bit above and I start to basically trace it gradually till I've gotten the shape I want. Then I follow it gradually. I'm using the Yanga Beauty Candy Glow in the shade Bam. And I'm gonna apply that to the edge of the cut crease from the front to the end. On 
going in with this light shade here i'm going to apply that to my lid area i'm using a flat brush to apply this and i'm just going to apply it everywhere on my lid You know the first shade that I used, that soft brown shade, in case you didn't know, I'm just going to show you again because even me too, I forget sometimes. This shade right here, I'm going to apply that to the end of my cut crease to allow a slow but perfect blendation. Going back in with the warmish brown shade to add a bit more smokiness to the end of my cut crease. It's time for the weird ass eyeliner that I cannot even believe that I make it did on my eye. It's so short, has no emotion, just dead, boring. It's actually perfect for this look because I don't want any eyeliner that will be stressing you too much. Using my Inglot 77 gel liner. Next, it's not you doing a little wing. I don't even know who I really am anymore. For the front part, all I do is literally tap the lash line. See lashes in flirt is hands down my go-to. I'm going out and I'm gonna steal everybody's boyfriend eyelashes. I'm not saying you're going to the wedding to steal anybody's boyfriend, but it will really feel good if you know they check you. Dual lash glue for the wind. Literally have to keep one of these in your bag. If the wind is too strong, your lashes can fall off. If that guy that is trying to check you is breath is smelling, the toxins can melt your glue. So just put it in your bag just in case. You know what I'm saying? While the lash glue is drying, the final part of this equation is this Eloy's pigment i'm not really sure what color this is but it says number two it has like a really beautiful finalization to the eye look this inglot duraline i added it to the pigment so this is our eye look i'm gonna start off by priming my face with the ordinary high spreadability fluid primer this doesn't really do much i like it because it kind of helps me spread my makeup really well i really really hate it when i'm trying to blend out my makeup and it's like fighting with me like i owe you what are you doing it kind of makes my skin feel really good Ooh really good. Now going in with the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Face Oil. Now that my face is feeling bomb, it's time for me to apply my foundation. I've been doing a concealer foundation medley. Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Espresso. Going in with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 7N. I absolutely love this foundation. If you're a bride, if you're a bridesmaid, if you're somebody that's going to be working really hard and sweating, this is the foundation for you. It doesn't transfer. It's really, really, really lightweight, but it lasts really long, which is amazing. I'm mixing it with my concealer. <laughs> we played ourselves there. I'm going in with my beauty blender that I got from Try Beauty Box. Like, can you see that finish? It gives you a matte shit. I forgot the most important part. The Transformit Foundation Mixer for Dewy Formulation. I don't know how I missed it. I always, always use this. It's holy grail. Especially if you have oily skin. Your foundation is matte, so it always looks cakey and dry. This gives you that dewy effect, but still keeps that matte quality. I don't know if, you, if you're getting me drift. Can you see how already... With the blending, it's kind of giving a nice dewy finish. Super matte. It is still it's dewy. Okay, dogs, let me highlight my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mahogany. I absolutely love this concealer because the first time I got it, I used it for two months straight. And Oh, I was even still scraping it. I said, let me just buy another one. It's amazing and it lasts really long for the price point in comparison to the other concealers on the market. So, so I'm going to use this to um, conceal my face and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty powder and I'm going to set everything and I will be right back. We is Burke. Burke like we never left. Okay, so I'm done with this eye. I went with the classic black on her eyes because I feel like that brings out your eye more and also leaves the attention to the cut crease you worked really hard to get. So I'm going in with my Inglot 77 gel liner. Time 
I'm going in with that Yanga Beauty MM shade and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the black. We're using the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. So now let me dust off the powder from my face. This amazing product by Forsali is their Rose Gold Skin Mist. It's amazing. It's worth every penny. I still use the same. My Lyra is the Candy Glow by Yanga Beauty in the shade. I don't highlight my eyebrows anymore because I actually draw my eyebrows higher than my eyebrows actually are naturally. So when I highlight that place, it kind of shows my hairs. And then right after I am done with that, I usually go in with my Yanga Beauty in the shade O'Shea Barraced. I literally just use it as a topper to just add a bit more bling bling to my face face. I'm using one of my favorite addition to my makeup collection. It's the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami Sunstalker Bronzer. See how warm my face is now, bringing my melanin back. And I'm gonna spray my face. Fenty Beauty Concealer in 498, the Pro Filter Concealer. Amazing, by the way, for lipstick, anything. You know me, I'm a multi user. I'm going in with the holy gradation of nude lipstick that I've tried in a while. Makeup for Melanin Girls Liquid Lipstick in Naked. Long lasting, amazing, worth it. And I think it's like $7. Very affordable too. So. And the smell, the smell is amazing. Hi guys! This is the final look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that I was able to come through for our bright maids out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Make sure you also follow my Instagram page. I am really, really doing a lot there. And we are really doing well. The results are very motivating. And I thank God every single day. Y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this love with your friends, families, enemies, and everybody in this world. Oh, I've missed that. Adios, amigos. Catch you later. Peace. All praise and glory to God.